going to create an elderly man using Adobe Illustrator. I start off by doing a file. Hit create. Okay, so on this head, um, we're going to start off by creating his face. I'm going to do a radiant rectangle. So they want on the new file, and I'm going to go ahead and do pixels and do 850. 850 and then on his face um then you use the rounded rectangle tool going to change the color to 236 193 156. Okay, I'm going to round in these corners a little bit more. There we go. And then, let's see. Another one over here. Get rid of my other. Okay. And on his hair, it's going to be two fifty, two forty six, and two thirty six. I'm going to do a range it's in the back on that. And then I'm going to use a rectangle, my uh, rod rectangle tool to create some sideburns. And then we're going to create the ears and the neck. I'm going to do a range. I'm just going to back on that one. And I'm going to copy and paste that over to the other side. And then for his neck. We're going to use the ellipses tool. And for some eyebrows, we're going to use the ellipses tool again. Um, and then I'm going to use the direct selection tool. Probably going to have to zoom in to do that. Um, and anchor it up to create our eyebrows. Copy and paste that. And then to do the nose, we're gonna do a vertical light brown ellipses. And the color on that is 219, 161, and 
117. And then we're going to select the anchor points, holding down our shift key, and go downwards, and that's going to create that nose. Copy and paste. Um, Just a little bit smaller. Okay, and then I'm going to group this and put it on his face. And then we're going to create some little eyes. We want the color to be 71, 50, 46. And I'm going to copy paste that. And then we're going to create the mouth and mustache. Let's see. Okay. So I'm going to create a rectangle, a rounded rectangle. Take the rectangle tool and draw across, change that color up. And I'm going to select both of these, go to my Pathfinder tool, do minus front, and that's going to create the mustache. And then we're going to take the ellipses tool and create one that matches the nose color over here. Copy and paste that. And I'm basically going to use my eyedropper tool to match that. Group these. That's going to create a smile there. And I am going to bring this to the front so that way I can move this up easily. There we go. Okay. And then we're going to make the glasses. Create an even circle. The transparency on the fill color. I'll change on to 50.
the outside, I'm going to do 255, 240, and 216. Sorry, that's going to be the inside shape. Um, and then the outside. Okay, so if you use the appearance panel, you can change the um, inside here where it's not just, so I would go all the way back up and then do window appearance, the stroke here, the opacity, and we'll change down, actually the fill, I'm going to change down to 50. And then the stroke, the color on that one's going to be 36, 40, and 42. A little bit thicker there. So then I copy and paste these. Probably could stand just to be a little bit bigger. And then you can use either the arc tool or the line shape tool to create a bridge here. If I do my line shape tool, I'm going to need the curvature tool to help me out. And then the next part's going to be the body. Do 192, 38, and 69. And I'm going to go to Effect, Warp, Bulge, do 15, Vertical, 0, and 10. And then go object, expand appearance. I'm going to do arrange, send it back so that I can do like that. And then to create the arms, um, let's see. It's saying again to use the arc tool. I can use the line segment tool on this one. I'm going to go prepare my stroke and do round cap. Um, and then I'm going to make the stroke really thick. And then I can use my curvature tool to 
curve it like that. Yeah, so I copy pasted that, sent it to back as well. Because of the left hand, we're going to create an oval. Switch that. And use the direct selection tool, like our bottom one, and kind of move it up. I'm going to copy and paste. That for the left hand. And then do another rounded rectangle. And this one's going to be 36, 40, and 42. send it to the back and then let's see we need the rectangle tool rectangle tool draw out a leg here And then we're going to use the direct selection tool to move the lower right anchor point to the left. So like that. And then I'm going to copy paste and reflect that. And then I'm going to go for the shoes, make the make a copy of the shape of the mustache. They're really making it easy for you. Um, copy paste. We're going to put that down here by your shoes. I'm going to expand it out just a little bit. And then the color for this one is going to be 186. 206, 205. I'm going to copy and paste that. And then now it's time to create the walker. Um, let's see. I'm going to make a rounded rectangle. And 
and the color on that is going to be 186, 206, and 205. It's the same color as the shoes. Um, I'll flip that. And we're going to use the scissors tool. Which, let me find. There we go. It's underneath the eraser tool area. I'm going to cut off. The bottom here. And let's see. I'm going to take that hand and bring it to the front. Copy and paste. Bring this hand up. There we go. And then I'm going to get a horizontal line. And drag it across. And then I'm going to get a rectangle. And that one's going to be 36, 40, 42. And then we're going to take the Click on it. Let's see. And I want to zoom in to do this right. Um, take this anchor point and come in. I'm going to take this anchor point and come in. And then I can copy and paste. You can put that one there. And then I'm going to zoom out so I can put our elderly gentleman here in the center before I go and create a background. And that one's going to be 59, 158, and 129. And then I'm going to right click. Send that to the back. And then to finalize this image, we're going to add a few dark green rounded rectangle shadows. And on these shadows, I'm going to make them 44, 140, and 110. And using my layers tool, I can bring it on down. There we go. Voila.